Hello, fellow Rosarians. I did a video the other day on why doesn't my rose look like the picture. And so I went around and showed you some different things of why this could occur. After that video, I found another rose that has succumbed to rootstock. And so how do you know? that your rose is has succumbed to rootstock. In this case, we have a chance that I might be able to save this rose because this is Darcy. And so when you look at Darcy, I'm gonna bring it closer to you. This is how she should look. Nice, it's like a purpley color. So this is what I was expecting. And so what happened is this, and this is a telltale sign that your rose is dying. When roses are grafted, they're grafted with several different types of rootstock. And I'll go ahead and list them for you. There's a ton. But rootstock, they are grafted to make them stronger and hardier. And some people really like them because it helps for a difficult environment if they're dealing with cold or humidity or dry weather. These roses are great to graft with whatever rose you're trying to have in this case Darcy and Darcy was rooted with or grafted with Dr. Huey and so I've had this one for several years it's been happy it's been in a pot the whole time so when you look at this it's a very old rose you can see here that the where it was grafted has split but it's been fine in here but if this is the crown look what's going on underneath the crown and so that tells us that this whole side here is dr huey this i've got several canes here that are still fine in this older rose it's eventually going to succumb because of the split and just how old it is but what they say to do with this is if you cut it off, um, you can certainly just cut it off and, and see if it gets rid of the stock. What, in the reading that I've been doing, it's violent. <laughs> you need to rip off this Dr. Huey. So that's what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna rip it off and they said that that actually helps it to hopefully die back. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna turn the camera down so hopefully you can see it. I probably should have gloves on, but here is the rootstock here. Okay, so I just ripped off this rootstock here. And if we look at it, so we have now taken that off and we're hoping to give this rose just a little bit longer. I might clean up this cut here, but do you see where I have snapped it off down there? So I will clean up that cut just a little bit. I'll probably use some antiseptic just on it. So there you go. Easy to do. I didn't even need gloves. <laughs> probably should have had them. I have now taken off the offending graft and let's go ahead and we will check up on this through the summer come back let's say in a month or so and look at it and see how it's doing i'm going to raise up the soil level on this it's deteriorated over time that's how you look for the graft taking over and if you catch it in time unlike my evelyn in the other video that we did you can save the rose so you're going to be looking for that color change that shows that red that's telltale color red you're also going to look for a growth that's coming out below the cane so if you um, are in a an environment where you're bringing up the soil level up above that crown periodically all you can do is just dig it back maybe in the fall while it's, while it's dormant and take a quick peek at what's going on each one of your roses if you can't pull back the soil and look at it on a regular basis you're going to be looking for a very strong vigorous growth that all of a sudden out of nowhere is shooting up to the sky that should make you question let me dig down here and look real quick because if it's bright green and healthy and strong and this cane is thicker than anything else on this rose so anyways i hope that that 
is helpful for you that you'll just take a look at your roses during your walkabouts and see if you've got a rose bloom that looks different and now you'll know what to do with it so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one